So, episodes five and six came out, and you know what has been really needed more of? Characters. That's right, even more characters. We already had seven heroes in the hotel, two angel villains, three hell villains, two important overlords, and one of them has two daughters, so you might think those 16 characters were plenty, but nope. We also need to throw in Lucifer and Alistair's old friend Mimsy, who... I'm not sure how I feel about this design. <laughs> also, like, what kind of demon is she? Because you're supposed to be like a type of demon, I thought. Like a cyclops demon or a spider demon. What? What is Mimsy? Because she just kind of looks like a caricature. Also, this cat thing has a name, apparently. And also, there's these two flying goat people who apparently have been working at the hotel this whole time. Like, Lucifer greets them like I should recognize them, like I've seen them before. Am I crazy? I feel like I haven't seen either of these goats the entire time throughout the first four episodes. We're just gonna pretend these two are also characters at the hotel? <laughs> then we get Saint Peter, who was important enough to get his own song. Nifty hasn't gotten a song yet. She's only one of the main cast, though. Good thing we can carve out songs for Carmilla and Saint Peter. They really deserve it. Then there's Sarah and Emily and Cherry Bomb. Wowie G, I sure am glad all of these other characters get all this screen time while our has-been heroes get pushed further and further into the background. Episode 5 was terrible, hands down, the worst one so far. It was so rushed feeling. Not only plot-wise, but animation-wise, too. They've had some frantic animations before, especially during Velvet's song in episode 3, but I figured it was just for the sake of matching the fast rhythm of her song. This whole episode felt, like, weird to watch. Like, too fast, too fluid, everything was moving a little too much, or like, at too fast of a frame rate or something. We also cut to new angles every few seconds, and it feels very fast and busy. I don't understand why it's only been this episode that's been this way, but it made me kind of feel sick watching it sometimes. Just too much, too quickly, too fast, too many different shots and cutting to different angles, I hated it. Plot-wise, this episode was clearly all idea, but no execution. Nothing happened, really. The events of this episode could have been handled in half the runtime, but also it simultaneously feels like we were rushing past a bunch of stuff. Or at least rushing past the important stuff. I wanted the episode to be about Lucifer and Charlie. That's clearly what the episode was trying to do. Lucifer's jealousy of Alistair, then finally having that big heart-to-heart -heart with Charlie at the end. That's the point of the episode. But instead, that keeps getting pushed into the background as suddenly Mimsy shows up and chews away huge chunks of screen time? Why are you here? We literally are just getting introduced to Lucifer, just right now establishing a rivalry between him and Alistair, when Mimsy just literally comes up out of nowhere just to insert herself and her dumb side plot into this episode. She even steals away the climax of the episode too, for her shenanigans. Rather than focus on our real cast, Charlie's relationship with her dad and Alistair being caught in between them, we instead drag ourselves away to fight lone sharks for Mimsy? Why? Husk and Angel already killed a bunch of lone sharks in the last episode. If we wanted a big scene where Alistair shows off his big demon form and prove he wants to defend the hotel, the sharks could have just been there to get revenge on Angel and Husk. That way, it also would have kept the plot to our actual characters. But no, this random lady shows up out of nowhere instead. Another extra superfluous character we didn't need. Great. It felt like the majority of the episode was just meant to establish how powerful Alistair is, but like, we kind of knew all this already. He's already an overlord. He's already had big bouts of revealing his strength. He has the most powerful abilities compared to everyone else. Else, why dedicate a whole episode to repeating this information? Nothing Mimsy told us was specific enough to tell us anything real substantial about Alistair. What's worse is he doesn't even show up in episode 6 at all. We spent this whole episode talking him up just for him to vanish completely? Also, I'm not sure what's with Alistair.
Alistair's beef with Lucifer. I assume he's jealous of Lucifer's status and power, and that's why he's trying to outstage him here, because this sudden faux fatherly type of shtick he does here really comes out of nowhere. He hasn't talked to any of the patrons for more than like three lines, so the idea that he has a close relationship with Charlie or the hotel is not real. I don't know why they went with this angle at all. I'm going to wait to see if this goes anywhere between the two of them before making any definitive critiques about it though. They might be setting up something, I'm not sure. Last little critique of the episode, I wish Hell had more unique locations. When we cut to Lucifer in his workshop, it looks like it could just be another room of the hotel. I wish we played with colors or patterns more, just because sometimes the backgrounds feel very samey, you know? Now there was a few things I did like about the episode. Lucifer had the funniest line out of the whole show so far. My daughter wants to see me! Take that depression! I also liked that he pulled out a golden fiddle. I get it, that's a fun reference. I wasn't a big fan of the first song, but the second one was really nice. It was a really sweet way to resolve their character arc here. Although, there was a split second, right at the very end of the song, where it definitely almost looked like they were about to kiss. I, I don't know. Maybe like... Maybe like have them holding each other differently or don't go with the half-lidded eyes or something. I don't know. However, on the flip side, episode six might have been the best episode yet because we actually focused on our main cast and plot. Not only did we actually make strides towards Charlie proving her hotel can work in theory, we also see that Heaven might actually be listening to her plan to redeem sinners. The whole plot doesn't feel so tangential and pointless anymore. On top of that, it feels like we're setting up an idea with Emily here to become sort of like a heaven opposite of Charlie, where she might start thinking about casting out sinners from heaven. That's interesting. That's the whole interesting conundrum that made me intrigued with the premise of Hasbin Hotel in the first place. Also, it was a ton of fun seeing the Hasbin characters getting to spend time together, not only just to play around with developing and defining their personalities a lot more, but also getting to see how they interact with each other. It was especially fun getting to see more of Nifty and Serpentious since they've been kind of stuck in the background for a lot of the show so far. Also, this scene further developed the plotline with Angel and Val, and we get to see how Hasbin has actually been having a meaningful impact on Angel Dust's character. Who would have guessed it? When the show stops throwing a million other characters at us with their random side stories, the actual plot of Hasbin Hotel, the actual main characters, the actual premise the show was pitched with and promotes is actually the most interesting and entertaining part. Not just that, but we've established that Vaggy used to be an angel just like Loot, not only giving her some much needed depth as a character, but also creating a very interesting intertwining plot between her and Charlie that directly ties to the grander premise about the differences between heaven and hell. Episode 6 does have some flaws though. Neither of the songs are very good, in my opinion. They're not terrible, just like not very memorable either. St. Peter's design was weird to me. His lack of nose and ears looks really dumb. We see Loot without her mask on and like I, I didn't realize that was a mask actually. <laughs> I figured out this was Loot pretty quickly but I don't know, maybe we could have seen her take the mask off at the end of episode one, just so it doesn't feel like it kind of comes out of nowhere. Also, they have this joke with Serpentius where he basically gets dragged off into a sex room and he clearly doesn't want to go. I don't know, you're gonna have a whole episode dedicated to Angel Dust being sexually assaulted and how that's very traumatic for him. We even see him further confronting Val in this episode, but also try to make a joke about sexual assault here with Serpentius, you're undermining the meaning of your own character's development with jokes like this. So these two episodes are confusing to talk about because they're just very different from each other. It's such a shame that episode 5 was such a boring mess, especially because we're clearly speed running to the execution deadline. Apparently five months have already passed in these episodes, which means the last two episodes will likely be all about surviving the next execution date. I feel like we wasted a lot of time with Lucifer in episode 5 and we especially 
really wasted time on Mimsy. At least Cherry Bomb, who structurally worked very similar to Mimsy, actually had a reason for being there. Mimsy was just there to boringly dump exposition we already knew about Alistair, and acted as an excuse for there to be a big fight at the end of the episode, but like I already explained, the sharks could have shown up for other reasons. Reasons actually related to the real cast, who were a little more than background characters in the whole episode. Cherry Bomb worked because she actually participated in trying to convince Angel to do sinner things, highlighting how he would normally have been behaving before trying to redeem himself at the hotel, to further show just how much he's grown and changed. But on top of that, I've been thinking about the first four episodes, and I can't help but think to myself, what are we wasting so much time on these other characters for? Five months have passed in-universe, why did we waste so much time on Carmilla, on Vox and Velvet? Yeah, they might become important in these last two episodes, but so far, they've just filled screen time and taken away time that should have been dedicated to our real cast. The show is clearly trying to do way too much all at once, and the actually good plot, the plot we see in episode 6, the has-been patrons convincing Heaven to consider redeeming sinners, that plotline unfortunately has really suffered because the show can't decide on what it wants to focus on, introducing way too many subplots and characters that so far haven't gone anywhere. Five months have passed in-universe, and the hotel patrons still feel like strangers to each other. I don't know. There's only two episodes left. I guess we'll have to wait to see what happens. Shout out to my $10 patrons. You're all amazing. Nako, Andrew, Valhalla Knight, Chamomile, Classy Critic, Noah Perkins, Sunny Shy, Jake, Amber, Hype Man, Zero to Hero, Scaring Crows, Messiah Complex, Jacob, Ben's Sketchbook, Omega Fighter, Trash, Wild Pilot, Josh, Gino, Twisty, Juan, Duncan, and Alpha99. Thank you so much for watching this video. As you can tell, I'm I've, I've, I've getting over a sickness. <laughs> Sorry if I sound all gross and congested. I'm not sick anymore. Uh, whatever. <laughs> what did you think of these two episodes? Uh, what do you think the, the next two episodes, the finale two episodes? I know season two has already been announced and will probably show up a lot sooner than season one ended up happening, but I don't know. I, I feel like we have too many characters and not enough focus on the important ones, but what do you think? Any and all thoughts and opinions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.